Hey everybody, welcome back to another Who Are We episode. My name is Catrice Roots, the creator of this series. And today we will be talking about Jan Ernst Matzelegger. Matzelegger, it just sounds fancy when I say it like that. Anyways, roll that intro. So like I said, today we're talking about Jan Ernst Matt Zelliger. He was born on September 15th, 1852. So, you know, he's a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. I'm born September 9th. So, you know, we we already here. We already here, Matt Zelliger. You know what I'm saying? No wonder he has a fancy last name. Matt Zelliger. You know, Matt Zelliger. You know, um, anyways, he was born in Dutch Guiana, which is now known as um, Suriname, which is uh, somewhere in South America. Um, he's most well known for inventing the automatic hand process lasting machine. Uh, the process was to join a shoe sole to its upper and a shoe sole to its upper part of the shoe and revolutionizing the shoe industry. And look, when I say he revolutionized, I mean revolutionized the shoe industry, I mean he revolutionized the shoe industry. Uh, he was self-educated. I mean, Virgo, I mean, that's, that's what we do. We just, simple as that, you know, self-educated, self-educated, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, let me stop playing. But, uh, he immigrated to the, to the United States when he was in his twenties. Uh, the way how he got to learn the basics, uh, about machinery and shoes is, um, running a shoe stitching machine for a manufacturer in Lynn, Massachusetts. Um, well, this isn't really how he learned the basics, basics. This is when he was like a little bit more advanced. He actually learned the basics, basics, uh, at a, um, shoe factory in Philadelphia. Then he moved to Massachusetts and like, you know, his skills enhanced and you know what I'm saying? All that. And he started creating his own stuff. But anyways, when Matt Zilliger created his own shoe machine, it was so complex that the patent examiners, cause you know, back then and probably still today, when you create any form of, of invention, usually it goes through this process of the patent examiners looking at it, seeing how it works, and then approving your patent as an official invention that can be sold out on the market and stuff like that. So Matt Zilliger, his shoe machine invention was so complex that the patent examiners had to see it in operation to understand it. See, you know, that's, that's just that Virgo stuff. You know, we're just always thinking, we're thinking about how to make things deeper than what it already is. For, you know what I'm saying? Just why not, <laughs> you know? And literally that's what he did, but hey, it worked out. Um, <clears throat> as time went on, Matt Zilliger was able to improve his invention until it could produce 700 pairs of shoes per day. 700 pairs of shoes per day. Wow. Like, 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 like I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted. I'm just amazed. I'm just taken of all. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, dude, 700 pairs of shoes per day. I need to learn how to make some shoes. Oh my gosh, like Matt Zilliger, <laughs> what's going on, you know? Um, anyways, um, Matt Zilliger was so determined to get his shoe lasting machine perfect, you know, cause Virgos, you know what I'm saying? We're all about perfection. Literally, it, and I understand this part of him. Like literally this man spent six months alone, you know, working, like day and night almost, you know, barely getting any sleep until he could successfully produce a wooden shoe lasting machine model. Like, it's like, I, I definitely understand that because sometimes I'll just wake up at three o'clock in the morning and start working on uh, things I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> so it's like seeing like Matt Zelliger just like stay up for pretty much six months straight, almost, you know, get like maybe three to five hours of sleep, mostly probably three and just working on that shoe lasting machine machine until it's absolutely perfect. 
I understand. I understand. I don't understand the six months part, but I do understand the ambition of just like staying up until you fully figure everything out. And then it calms you down once you fully figure everything out. And I feel like that was Matt Zelliger. Like he was like, I'm not stopping until I get it fully done. You know, it's like that energy of just wanting to get it done how you want it. It's like that keeps you motivated. That keeps you going. That keeps you like <sighs> energized, you know, until like you get it done. And then you feel like, I can relax now. So anyways, that's Matt Zilliger. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a Virgo, you know what I'm saying? Let me stop. Um, and anyways, on March 20th, 1883, he received a patent for his invention. So A, his patent was approved after they examined it. His invention won swift acceptance and within two years had largely supplanted hand method ham methods in Lynn, Massachusetts, like the ham methods shoe lasting machine. Like it was all over Mass like in Lynn, Massachusetts to where like they were no longer working on the old school machines, whatever they were doing. They were working on the automatic hand lasting style that Matt Zilliger created. Amazing, amazing dude. <laughs> like you got your whole town just doing like working, like using your invention to help them uh, stay consistent with production work. That's so freaking cool. And unfortunately, Matt Zilliger never got the chance to see how his shoe machine became a successful commercialized product. Uh, and it was due to him dying of tuberculosis, on it, tuberculosis at the age of 37. Uh, but his legacy still lives on, you know, but dang it, like, <sighs> he worked so hard all them years. He stayed up late nights, didn't get any rest just to freaking die of tuberculosis, which was a very huge pandemic, you know, like how coronavirus is now. That was like a huge pandemic back in the late 1800s, like 1880s and stuff. Um, so rest in peace to Matt Zilliger, Virgo, Team Virgo, you know, sad to say he couldn't live to fully enjoy the fruits of his labor but he definitely made an impact on the shoe industry because if it wasn't for him we wouldn't have nike jordans adidas none of this stuff without this man you know we wouldn't have nice you know dress up shoes without this man like everything so you know or at least we wouldn't have a lot of these shoes at a fast rate like we would have to wait like you know like we'll probably have to order our shoes like three weeks before we can get them like no we'll probably have to order our shoes a month or two before we can actually like have it sent to our house <laughs> you know but thank god for matt zilliger you can just go to any store and just buy your shoes right on the spot or order it online and get it within two weeks and that's mostly because of shipping you know but yeah like thank god for Max zilliger like just get shoes whenever we feel like it. we don't have to wait a long time for it to be crafted and all that type of stuff. That's it for this episode of Who Are We? Rest in peace to Matt Zilliger. Thank you so much for like, you know what I'm saying? Hooking us up with the shoes, you know? Hooking us up with the shoes. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Um, and happy Black History Month. And uh, again, if you guys want merch, you, you see I'm wearing my Who Are We hoodie and stuff like that. Um, this is a, actually the beta version. This is the old version of my Who Are We hoodies when I first came out with them. The newer ones have way better quality material, stitching, feel to it, all that type of stuff. But if you want to go and purchase any of my Who Are We merchandise, go to CatriceRootsProductions.com. Uh, it'll be in the Who Are We collection. Um, or if you click on like the Who Are We videos, if you scroll to the bottom, it should also be at the bottom too and it'll take you to the full store. Um, but uh feel free to purchase any who are we merchandise um thank you to those that have already purchased some and have like modeled in it for me i'll be putting out some photo shoots on instagram of of uh my friend robert we did a photo shoot of like my who are we stuff so thank you for supporting my brand and thank you to everybody else that have bought the who are we merch and by the way if you would like to have free shipping on the Who Are We merchandise, uh, the discount code is CRP. That stands for Catrice Roots Productions. So right before you click, what is it? Continue. Make sure to, in the discount section, type in the word CC 
Okay, so like C R P. What the world is this? Is not a P. This is just a squiggle. Anyways, um, but yeah, make sure to type that down so you can get free shipping on the merchandise. <sighs> yeah, so see you guys on the next episode of Who Are We? And happy Black History Month. We're closing out strong. So yeah.